So let's all just connect. Just allow your shoulders to drop. Oh, you should never be late, you know, that, that's not good. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> Breathe out, let it go. Drop your shoulders, get the boulders off. And feel the energy, if you can, moving down from your head, through your hip line, to your feet, and connecting with Mother Earth. Because as we connect with one another, we want to connect the different wavelengths of energy, for want of a better word, the different dimensions. We want to bring our energy, our subtle energy from the above the head area, the heavenly area, to our feet, so that we feel even more strongly connected and we're including now the planet and everybody in it. So see if that makes a difference. Notice exactly how you feel. And don't judge yourself harshly, or even don't judge yourself. Just be aware of how you feel. Beautiful. Okay. So if I, get, if I forgot to tell you who I am, <laughs> at least I put the record on. Uh, my name is Terry Matthews. This is my last day actually working for Mary Burmeister Jin Chin Jitsu. Um, you don't need to go ah, <laughs> but it is. I'll, I'll be popping in, you know, in and out, um, helping out from time to time. And I will carry on Harmonize to Energize. Um, so you, um, you will still see me. However, less about me and more about today's mystery guest, who is, who is, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I can, um, there you go. <laughs> well, Terry, I want you with me, of course. Um, oh, okay. Well, you, well, somehow I got disconnected there. <laughs> Oh, now, where, are you, where did you go? <laughs> Here, I'll, I can add myself with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So, um, Terry, I just want to thank you so much for including me as your special mystery guest today. And for anyone who I haven't had the opportunity to meet yet, my name is Kelly Mount, and I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm a new instructor for the Mary Burmeister Jin Shin Jitsu Institute and Spirit Mind Body. And Terry, I just want to follow up um, and, and say how grateful that I am to you for your service all these many years to Mary Burmeister and Mary Burmeister Jin Shin Jitsu Institute. This harmonized to energize that you have started during the pandemic has been an incredible gift to our community, as are you. And you're such a brilliant uh, teacher and self-help teacher. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, well, thank you, Kelly. It's been, uh, it's been the journey of a lifetime. <laughs> yes, for me also. And yeah, yeah. That's why I'm just so tickled to be here. And I have a, a wonderful story to share with everyone today. Let me just rename myself. So uh, for anyone joining late or watching the, the recording, it'll be there. And um, I know over these few weeks, you have continued going through the safety energy locks and have completed um, the zero through 26. But I wanted to circle back around today to talk about the generative and regenerative power of safety energy lock 15, and also the holding of safety energy lock 11 and 15 together. And I have a fun story to share about that. And um, I do have some slides to share, which I'm happy to go ahead and, and pull up. 
but I have had such an incredible journey. And part of my journey has been working with animals. I'm also an endorsed faculty member for Adele Lee's for Jinchen Jitsu for you and your animal companions. And over the years, I've had a lot of opportunities in my private practice to work with women and children um, expecting mothers. But I also had the opportunity to work at a place called Kentuckiana Children's Center, which is here in Louisville. And it offers um, alternative therapies like Jinchen Jitsu to children who have disabilities, irregardless of the family's ability to pay. It's a nonprofit center. And so I wanted to kind of incorporate a, a story with a child that I've had in my practice and this Safety Energy Lock 15 and how we also use it to support the healing process with broken bones. So let me just pull up my share screen, Terry. Sure. So I just want to reintroduce everyone to the 26 Safety Energy Locks and this wonderful laminated uh, color chart is available on the Jinshin Jitsu website, www.jsjinc.net, jinshinjitsuinc.net. And I saw where Terry had already put a link into the chat for Mary's three self-help books. And I will say um, these self-help books continue to be an incredible journey for me and for everyone in our Jinshin Jitsu community. And if there ever was a survival guide to living in modern life, it would be Mary Burmeister's self-help books one through three. So and those are also available on the Jinshin Jitsu website. So today we're going to be looking at Safety Energy Lock 11, which is located at the base of the neck. And if you place your hand like a coat hanger over your shoulder, you naturally connect to your safety energy lock 11. We're also going to be looking at safety energy locks 15, which are just here in the lap. If you place your hands in this area, it's kind of at the groin where the abdomen meets the leg. So I um, would like to share a, a self-help and I'd like to uh, just share this next slide. And this comes from Mary Burmeister's Self-Help Book Two on page 40. And in Self-Help Book Two, Mary introduces us to the safety energy locks. And they're exactly what they sound like. They're the body's safety alarm mechanism. They uh, let us know when our daily lifestyle is taking us out of our health, happiness, and harmony. She calls them our truest friends or our keys our keys that unlock our health, harmony, and vitality. So um, again, she says, 15 came into the universe, meaning laughter. Wash our hearts with laughter. And I don't know who can't use that <laughs> um, today. There has been so much going on in the world, particularly in these last few years. She says, by applying our jumper cable, we can recharge our rundown energy battery harmonize functions of the heart to bring complete mental peace and security, helps to bring forth new ideas and adaptations. So through this area of safety energy lock 15 in the groin, we have one of our major uh, vascular arteries, the femoral artery. So this is kind of this area at the hip line is a place where we can help both the heart and the lungs and our entire vascular system. It aids abdominal and leg tension and stress, hips, knees, foot disharmonies, including bloat, tension, and stress. And one thing that isn't mentioned here is that Safety Energy Lock 15 helps to expedite the healing of broken bones. And so we'll be talking about this with the story that I have to share. And she says, laughter is the key to no attitude. Be the smile, be the dropping of your shoulders, unloading, exhaling, and receiving, inhaling in abundance. Be the no attitude. And so, as I understand it, children laugh hundreds of times a day, whereas as adults, we forget to laugh at all. We become so serious and stuck in our attitudes. And I think this is one reason why children have such a childlike plasticity and why they heal so quickly is because they're always focused on how can I play? How can I get back to enjoying life again? And so 
I just want everyone to experience holding the 11 and 15 together. And we'll do a brief self-help meditation, but just really quick before we begin, I'd love to invite you to just turn your head right and left and just see, is your right side back or neck tighter? Or do you feel or experience more discomfort on the back of your body on one side more than the other? And if so, I'd like for, to invite you to place your hands on that particular side. For me, I'm feeling my right side today. So I'm going to hook my left hand over my right shoulder and place my right hand into the left, or excuse me, my right hand into the right lap. So I'm holding both hands on the right side of the body. My left hand over the right shoulder, my right hand in the right 15 area. If it's your left, you simply do the opposite, placing the right hand over the left shoulder and the left hand into the left on the left side of the body. So the amazing thing about holding the 11 and 15, and I'm going to stop the share for just a second. Oh, oh sorry, Terry. I, I lost everybody for just a second. I just want to show you that I'll use my scarf as an example. It's kind of like a plumb line. When we carry tension on the right back, if we hold our hands on the right front, it opens up like a plumb line that draws the tension from the back down the front of the body through the hands. So when we hold the right side, we clear the whole right side of the back in this area between the hands. The same is true of the left side. So I just wanted um, to kind of show how that works and it's really incredible. It's this as it is above, so it is below. So it is on the left, so it is on the right and as it is on the front, so it is in the back and as it is in the back, so it is in the front. So let me just come back into my share screen. I apologize. When I popped out, I believe my screen went away. So let me just see if I can pull that back up quickly. And if not, it's not a problem. Ah, here we go. Let's see. Can everybody see this now? Perfect. So this is just that screen showing that when we hold our hands in the front, it helps to open up the back. So if you'll just quietly sit holding the side where you felt the most discomfort, I'd like to invite you to close the eyes. As Terry said at the beginning, to release the boulders from the shoulders and allow your shoulders or your should -ers to melt into your feet and toes. Simply allow the weightlessness of the world to melt away from your shoulders and begin to draw your conscious awareness inside yourself. With each exhaling breath, I can let go and be free from my dirt, dust, and greasy grime. And with each inhaling breath, I can receive regenerate, renew, revitalize, and resource the essence of my being. So I'd like for everyone to simply begin with nine conscious exhaling and inhaling breaths.
as you continue to hold, I'd like to remind you of the words of Mary Burmeister. She says, within each one of us lies the power to cast all misery aside, to know complete peace and oneness, to be that beautiful creation of perfect harmony, to truly know, help myself. So let us receive another nine conscious exhaling and inhaling breaths together. Whenever you're ready, I invite you to relax the hands. And I just want you to retest to move your head from right to left and just see, are you still carrying the same amount of tension? For me, I actually have a wider range of motion now when I turn my head both to the right and to the left. Um, if you've had chronic neck or back pain, you may feel some relief even after a few minutes of simply holding this safety energy lock 11 and 15 together. But now, so that we don't feel unbalanced, I'd like for us to hold the opposite side. And so uh, simply reach across and hold your hand as a coat hanger over the opposite shoulder, placing the other hand in the lap on the same side at safety energy lock 15. If for any reason this is uncomfortable, feel free to adjust either hand to a place where you can hold. You're welcome to simply be with the breath. Uh, the little finger helps us to harmonize safety energy lock 15, and I offer that as an option in place of this contact. So I'd like for us again to simply close the eyes and drop back into the space of sacred silence and sacred stillness. Does our innate intelligence have a message for us today? Do we have more homework on the right side or the left side of the body? Safety Energy Lock 11 helps us to unload all our excess baggage it's like a janitor that helps us to clean up our messes and take out the trash we carry around. Safety Energy Lock 15 helps us to wash our hearts with joy and laughter. So we can clean up and smile, knowing that at the palms of our hands, we can connect to our own source and help our own run down energy battery simply by placing our jumper cables on the body. So let us begin another round of receiving nine exhaling and inhaling breaths.
before we begin our remaining group of nine conscious exhaling and inhaling breaths to complete our 36 breath meditation. I'd like to talk about why four groups of nine breaths. Nine helps us with cycles. It helps us to end old cycles that no longer serve us and it helps us to begin new cycles that serve us for where we are and who, are, who we are becoming in this breath. Each group of nine breaths helps us to connect to our blueprint. Each of us are a unique and individualized expression of the breath of life. And in this body, this breath renews me and connects me to the source, both to my blueprint, my source, and to the universal source of the breath of life. Each of us is imbued with the light from the Creator, and we can connect to this infinite space for our own healing and transformation for our own harmonizing, simply through the breath. Jiro Murai, Master Murai, who was Mary Burmeister's teacher said that the ultimate healer that we have is first the breath, then the fingers, then all the rest. So let us now begin our remaining nine conscious exhaling and inhaling breaths together. Whenever you're finished, feel free to keep your eyes closed and simply relax the hands and just do a little recheck, moving the head back and forth, right and left, just to see um, if you've noticed any difference now between the right and the left side together. So for me, it's really uh, remarkable. I feel quite a difference on both sides. Um, and I apologize, my dog is barking in the background. So uh, we have two dogs and three cats here at, at home with us and they're uh, quite a joy, but I apologize. And I just wanted to show Mary Burmeister's self-help book two, page 32 on safety energy lock 11. The really cool thing about when we hold safety energy lock 11 at the base of the neck, we also, incorporate safety energy lock number three, which is at the top of the shoulders at the base of the neck, which helps our immune system. So safety energy locks three and 15 are really powerful for our whole immune system. So anybody who's experiencing um, lung projects or I heard someone mention about um, having a bronchitis, pneumonia and or COVID, uh, before we began our recording today. And holding this 11 and three area with 15 is really powerful to jumpstart the immune system and help the body recover from any sort of illness. So 11 came into the universe meaning justice, getting rid of excess baggage and garbage. So it helps to bring peace and harmony from head to toes and toes to head. 
dissolving shoulder and neck tension and stress from the hips, legs, head, arm, elbow, wrist, hand, and finger <laughs> discomforts. So we see how this um, simple self-help hold harmonizes so many different things. And now I'd like to share um, a special story with all of you. Holding Safety Energy Lock 15 together helps expedite the healing of broken bones. And this is due to um, the vascular properties that um, are in this area of Safety Energy Lock 15. And um, I have special permission to share these photographs with you. I have a, a longtime client named Jessica, who is also a Jinshin Jitsu practitioner. And her son, Aiden, uh, this spring was at school uh, playing football outside and it, we'd had a lot of rain and he slipped and fell in the mud and he did a cartwheel landing on his head and neck and he broke his collarbone, his, his right collarbone. And as you can see here in this photograph, she immediately had him hold the break, which was the collarbone with the safety energy lock 15. And so this is true of anywhere that you have a break on the body, whether it's an arm, elbow, leg, if you can hold either 15 with the area of the break, it simply helps to expedite uh, the harmonizing process. And so here he's laying, waiting in the ER, um, holding this area. And I just want to show how, um, how much bruising developed right away after the accident occurred. And here is um, the original x-ray of the break. You can see how the collarbone looks like a tent. And um, I'll, I'll be honest, when Jessica shared this with me at first, I was like, oh dear, I wonder what the, the surgeon will do about this. <laughs> so of course they, they met with an orth orthopedic surgeon um, while they were in the hospital. And um, I asked Jessica um, when she contacted me the next day, could um, it be a possibility that Aiden's grandfather could bring him in to see me for a session that I would be happy to help. And so, um, of course, we, we worked um, with several things, including holding the break with the 15. And again, it was just a very gentle, light touch because, um, you know, we don't want to press or manipulate any tissue. We just want to be gentle, including just hovering the hands over the area if it's too painful. Um, uh, this fine young man continued cupping and holding his hands over the area. Um, you can do right over left to heal broken bone or left over right to draw out inflammation. You can hold hands either way and it will help no matter which, which way you choose, right or left over the area. And I just wanted to show this image because this is 11 days um, from the original break. You can see that all of the bruising is gone. And they continued to do this off and on until they went back to see the surgeon 11 days later. And I just want to show how here you can see the break. And at 11 days post break, when they went back to see the orthopedic surgeon, he was shocked um, to see the significant difference. And he asked uh, Jessica, well, what did you all do? And of course, she shared with him about Jin Jin Jitsu. And he said, well, you didn't press or manipulate the tissue in any way. And she says, oh, no, no, we just used very gentle touch um, hold, holding. And she explained what we held. And so, um, so often uh, we hear these um, amazing testimonies that uh, practitioners and students from all over the world have, but rarely do we get to see um, uh, an x-ray and have a photograph of, of what is possible when we use our jumper cables. So I, I just uh, wanted to share this story with you. Of course, um, <clears throat> I would like to add a little disclaimer <laughs> that Jin Shin Jitsu is, is not a substitute for um, medical care. And certainly in an acute situation, I always recommend visiting the emergency room or calling your doctor but it is wonderful to see what kind of progress can be possible. I know that children often heal quicker than adults do, 
And yet I still felt like this was a really special opportunity to be able to share with friends um, what might be possible in the harmonizing process of using Jinshin Jitsu with a broken bone. So I just wanted to share about the Safety Energy Lock 15 and how helpful it was, particularly in this instance. And I have had um, many uh, opportunities over the years where we have used 15s along with broken bones to, to help expedite the healing process. Wow. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you know, I, I have to give um, uh, really, um, you know, I can't take credit for, for this, but I'm so proud of this young man and his mother for um, being persistent and consistent with their self-help because I really felt like um, it was all just the spark that the body needed to make that transition. Yeah, so he was doing it, you were doing it, and over and she and your friend doing it over yeah. a period of how many days was that? Eleven days. Ooh, uh, that's interesting. Eleven. <laughs> Even I um, was amazed um, and yeah. surprised. You know, I was really concerned after seeing the initial X-ray. Oh dear, what will this orthopedic surgeon do? Uh, you know, because it was a, a pretty severe uh, a break, and you know, it would be very um, uncomfortable and disfiguring to have had that. Um, so, so it was actually broken in half? Yes. Wow. Yes. So. Um, well, people, <laughs> if you're in any doubt about the power of the 15s, and in this case with the 11, um, for the shoulder girdle, wow. Yes. Uh, I, I've not seen that kind of evidence before. Has anyone ever seen that kind of evidence with their ginger? Well, <laughs> I, you know, while there is research available on the Jin Shin Jitsu website that people can go and re review, I, it is rare that we have instances that we see um, what might be possible. And so uh, that's why it's very important for both um, uh, Jessica and I to share our story with everyone, because we felt like this was an opportunity to see what really can uh, be possible when we use our jumper cables and our self-help. And when we have a major medical project. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just saying that I don't think I've seen anything about bones amongst all our medical information um, research. So um, that's a first, <laughs> certainly for me. Yeah. That's something you probably could add to the collection, yeah? Yes. And Terry, before we leave today, I had an incredible opportunity to teach Jin Shin Jitsu um, at Camp Odyssey, which is here at the Earth and Spirit Center in Louisville, Kentucky. And I was just there last week and I had the opportunity to have 95 kids over five days in groups for 45 minutes apiece, where I taught them about the attitudes and the fingers and I shared self-help with them. And I'd love to be able to share that video with everyone, if you don't mind. Oh, no, do the Harmonized to Energize has expanded its time. The wavelength is now up to the hour, more or less. <laughs> right. Well, this video is four minutes, and I, I, I hope you find it as inspirational and fun as, as I uh, did when I was there with the kids. So let me just pull up my share screen. Right. Okay, folks. <clears throat> All right, here we go, and I'll make this big. <laughs>
Wow. So, so I just feel like um, as, as adults, uh, we know how powerful the art of Jinshin Jitsu is in our own personal journey. And I feel like every opportunity we get to begin earlier, the better. And so I had the opportunity to work again with almost 100 kids from the ages of kindergarten up to sixth grade, and then older children were the counselors. So I felt like they got to learn too. And um, copies of Fun with Happy Hands by Mary Burmeister, which is the children's self-help book that she wrote, uh, were made available through the Mary Burmeister Jinshin Jitsu Outreach. And of course, um, the outreach provides grant assistance um, for tuition for students who can't afford to attend our classes, and it also funds special projects like this. So if anyone is interested in donating, you can always go to www.jsjinc.net and click on the um, icon for outreach and make a donation, or you can contact Susan Kemper at uh, jsjalivenow at gmail.com. So I, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to share the video with the children. Oh, absolutely. And if you've got anything to add about any courses uh, you're coming up um, to do, that would be great. Did I see Nancy from Florida there? Is she here? I know she's on vacation with her husband. No, now. no, in, in that video, was it? Was oh, that no, no, oh, uh, oh. maybe in spirit. I, I saw Susan. I saw Susan there. Yeah, Susan Kemper and Maggie King. Um, yeah, yeah. I saw your co your, your organizers there, but uh, I thought I saw Nancy on the path next to Susan or something. Anyway, wishful thinking, maybe. Yes. From wow. Um, and that was recently as well. Yes, that was just last week. I was invited for the first time last year to teach their mindfulness class during camp, oh. and so as part of that, I taught Jin Shin Jitsu self help. Um, for their mindfulness segment of camp and uh, I was invited back again this year and I'm very excited to share that I'm going to be teaching my very first online basic seminar uh, coming up August 9th through the 15th and my very first in-person five-day basic seminar here in Louisville, Kentucky on Wednesday, November 2nd through Sunday, November the 6th. So, oh, and I'm teaching a two-day Jinshin Jitsu class for horses in Cave City, Kentucky, um, the first week in October, October 1st through the 2nd. And um, of course, you can find about these class listings on jsjinc.net, jinshinjitsu.com, or at Adele's website, jsjforyouranimal.com. Wow, you're busy. <laughs> no time like the present. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep the energy moving. Wow. I, yeah, Terry, and I am curious if anybody um, during our self-help uh, meditation noticed any difference between the right or left side of the body or have any comments that they would like to, to share. Absolutely. Yeah, so folks, unmute yourself if you would like to share anything. Um, I guess not. <laughs> well, I didn't do it in the moment. So uh, sometimes... Uh, uh, we, we've come uh, full circle in our discussion, so. Uh, well, I've noticed a difference. Um, yeah. Certainly, I mean, personally, I haven't particularly done that um, exercise in relation to 1150. Used to do that a lot in Shiatsu, but I've never actually done it when I was doing Jin Shin Jitsu. But yeah, it, um, it made a difference, actually, especially when you've done both sides. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, I have something to say. Yes, huh? absolutely. Of course. Yeah, I always have yeah. something to say. Okay. Of course you do. Um, yeah. Well, first of all, thank you both. But Kelly, this was really beautiful. And um, I love that you shared the video. It was really sweet. And um, uh, I, of course, am noticing always differences from left to right. But this was really, really helpful. I had a nice big cry in the beginning, and then I calmed down. So more stuff to unload. But anyway, thank you. Really beautifully done. So. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your experience with us. Yeah, it looks as though some people have mentioned something in the chat. Um, Rita Maria, uh, I felt my right side release a lot of tension and my left became very relaxed. There you go. Anybody else? Do, do, do. Everyone liked it. <laughs> Someone held their 15s for three weeks. That's where when I ruptured a 
Baker cyst and the shin in May healed real fast. There you go. Um, Stephanie, I did the 11.15 for at least half an hour this afternoon to help serious back pain caused by lifting my wheelchair into my car with a wrong move. And so something dislocated in the sacrum. After the flow, I was able to prepare dinner and sit long enough to enjoy it together with my partner. Wow, wonderful. Yes, no, these are, good, these are good testimonies. Yeah, you know, we often get the question, you know, when I um, have an injury or a trauma to the right or left side of the body, do I hold the right or left side? And I hope with this little simple exercise, you can see the benefit of why you might hold both sides. And if you've ever studied with Sarah Harper, I love, she says, well, do you only brush one side of your teeth? <laughs> And so, yes, we can always work with the side of discomfort, tension, or pain, and we can work with the opposite side to help almost like an escape route to allow the body. Um, sometimes the opposite side compensates, and sometimes that energetically needs a place uh, to open up and flow through uh, when there's stuck energy on one side. So uh, you can make a case for both sides, and ultimately, whatever you have time for, is the best self-help there is. Perfect. Yona, you've raised your oh. hand again. <laughs> I, had one, I did have one thing that I noticed. Um, Kelly, it was really interesting, um, but on my left side, I was experiencing this rush of heat for about four minutes mm -hmm. and um, sweating, but not the right side. So it was just a really interesting energetic thing that happened and then it dissipated. So that's what I wanted to add. <laughs> Yes, sometimes we experience the release of stuck energy is either heat or cold. It, it can often be either. And so um, for me, I always just say thank you with gratitude to my body for any movement um, that's possible. So I'm curious, um, we were holding the 15s there as well, you say, um, washing our hearts with joy and laughter. Yes. So how are you all doing? How's the joy and laughter spectrum right now? <laughs> what's, the, what's the dial? Is it zero or is it 100? <laughs> yes, inevitably in classes, and I'm so excited to get back to in-person classes again, but we'll have a totally silent room of people receiving Jin Shin Jitsu. And you can tell in class as people's 15s begin releasing because there'll be the little trinity in the corner, a group of three people that burst out in hysterical laughter, and sooner or later it begins to spread through the room, and it's really just a joyful moment when you hear people laugh again, when they have unloaded enough that they can let go and laugh. Yes, yeah, Sarah and I had a bit of a reputation, and <laughs> I think some people were quite disruptive. <laughs> So yes, folks, once the tension starts melting, the joy and the laughter can flow. Um, so I don't know, I've been at the, um, if you like, um, as we draw the journey to this part of the journey, I've been connecting everyone um, once more to themselves and to the field. I don't know if you want to do that, um, Kelly? Yeah. I just to... Um, love to say, uh... I hope that today can be a reminder to rediscover that childlike place within yourself where healing and abundance and harmony and laughter are. If you can open up yourself to this place and welcome and invite the child in you, that childlike exuberance and childlike plasticity to heal, transform, and harmonize yourself through the breath. Fun with happy hands. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know, I, I can honestly say I've never used that book. <laughs> I've read it, but um, it's great that you've explored um, with the kids like that. So, so the next um, handout that I created was from Mary's uh, Fun with Happy Hands, and she uses four steps with the kids. She only uses um, the right hand on top of the head with the left hand on the center forehead, um, a hand on the chest, step sure. two a hand at the base of the sternum, step three, and a hand on the belly button, step four. So um, yes. short, sweet, and simple. No, good, a good idea. So everybody, um, question. <laughs> Let's bring out the child or hopefully. Has anyone got a birthday today? Oh, Terry, happy 
happy birthday. Wow, wow, wow. That was <laughs> that was Wednesday, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Well, happy belated birthday in that case. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, focus on you guys. Anyone got a birthday today? Or well, maybe you all have. Um, let's just say we've all got a birthday today, right? <clears throat> well, just... and definitely on Monday, July fourth, uh, in the United States, we celebrate uh, the birth, the birthday of our country and our democracy. There you are. We're coming up to another, yet another um, celebration, and a holiday, and fireworks. So, I would just like to say thank you very much, um, Kelly. That was a beautiful um, presentation. In fact, if none of you have um, seen anything that Kelly's done in the past, there is another video on the YouTube page where Kelly um, told some delightful stories, some very interesting stories. Um, someone tells me that it's not easy to find all these, but I, I'm sure I put Kelly's name on the, on that video. So anyway, there are other videos, so go have a look on, on YouTube. And um, like I said at the beginning, even though it's a kind of ending with my connection with Mary Burmeister Jinchin Jitsu as a um, employee, uh, full time or part time, whichever way I was, I will still be pop popping around. Um, here and there and i will definitely carry on with the um harmonize to energize and uh, we'll continue to invite guests and return guests um so we'll have kelly back at some time soon hopefully and i just want to just end with a um a gentle connection for us all and you know i mentioned that those of you that want to raise your hands like this that this palm of the hand represents the source or the 26 um, or complete safety energy lock. You can feel the connection to one another because here we are with a little finger, um, which represents heart and small intestine on the organ function level, and also um, <clears throat> radiates the essence of safety energy lock 15, which um, you know <clears throat> we were experiencing today. So if you feel comfortable, close your eyes, sit up as straight and comfortable as you can. And then let's just connect as we draw this pre presentation to a partial close, because at the end of something, there's always a beginning, like the nine. And then just gently feel your connection with everybody, with Kelly, with everybody else on the presentation in this energy field. just allow those 15s to open, those shoulders to drop even more deeply. Feel that connection with the ground beneath. And just maybe sense, realize, imagine that this field goes beyond the room you're in, the presentation you're watching, to the environment outside of yourself. And you know, whilst an individual environment um, can be stronger than our willpower, when we are collectively connecting environmentally, we really amp up, we really strengthen the energy field. And with a strengthened energy field, we could bring to pass some of those dreams and visions of harmony that we like to contemplate and realize when we practice Jin Shin Jitsu. Wayne Hackett always says generally whenever he was practicing, show me the harmony. So maybe you can drop that thought into the field. Show me the harmony and see what happens.
Hmm. So let's just hold our connection, connect to our individual part. And then I just want to say thank you, thank you, and thank you to Kelly and to thank all of you for joining us today for this very magical presentation. And the recording will be up because I did record it. <laughs> uh, last time I had to go back and do it again because I forgot. <laughs> And I did record this one, and it will be up on the YouTube, the Jin Chin Jitsu YouTube site page, whatever you want to call it, uh, at least within a couple of hours, I should hope. And um, so if anyone you know would like to, um, you know, share this experience that Kelly brought to us, videos as well, um, point them in that direction. And um, so have a good rest of the day, everybody. Um, rest of the weekend, enjoy the Monday, those of you that are having a holiday in the US and um, rest of the week. Until next Friday when um, I'll still be here <laughs> and we'll be doing whatever we're going to be doing or being whatever we're going to be being. So wonderful. Thank you for all um, being here because it's on the hour because we really are stretching it these days, but I'm very grateful to you all. Thank you for your support. And again, thank you, Kelly. And um, take care, everybody. Um, be smart, be wise, be safe, and uh, connect with your heart. It's where it's at, you know? Um, no matter whatever we think, I think the greatest wisdom is that connection with the heart. And if you look in your Jin Shin Jitsu books, those of you that have studied the five-day um, in textbook two for the heart um, energy pathway, you will notice it goes deep, 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 deep into the head. That's the wisdom factor. <laughs> Once we've learned things, our intuition can then guide us, I believe, to a much deeper appreciation of who we are and what we can be and how we can harmonize with everybody else. All right, enough from me. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah. Thank you, Jen Terry. Yeah. Whoops.